Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. I am with Dr. Subramanian Swami who has had a lot of experience in uh, in dealing with some people in the United Progressive Alliance. I am talking about uh, Mr. P. Chidambaram who is cooling his heels in Tihar right now. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Swami has had a long, well, I don't say association, but he knew of him for, for a long time. <laughs> Dr. Swami, when was the first time you came across PC uh, and where did it all start? Well, when I first time I came across PC, I didn't even know he was PC. <laughs> uh, I, um, when I returned to India after the emergency, uh, the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections followed the Lok Sabha elections. And I was, of course, a star in the emergency. Right, right. And on top of that, a Tamilian. Right. So uh, there was a big demand I should campaign. So I went around the whole state campaigning. So in Chennai, Mr. Chidambaram was that time just a lawyer. Was he my editor of this radical review? With yeah, the way they are the Big leftists. <laughs> because in the, in the Hindu family, the Hindu newspaper family have always been pro me in the mm -hmm. sense. We have had very good relations though we never agreed on anything except perhaps that we should have, both, we should have good relations with China. Right. That way there is an agreement. Uh, but uh, Chidamara made a public statement that uh, I was Swami's student at Harvard. Now, at that time he was nobody, maybe he thought this way, he, he'll get some publicity, I don't know. So I, uh, somebody told me that this has come in the papers, do you remember him? I said, no, I don't remember him, but let me check. So he had taken one of, must have taken, he took a, a course, uh, which is of, um, uh, basic economics, which is a compulsory for people in law school, in in uh, business school, in Kennedy school, and all the other schools. You see, uh, so the, um, I was in the department. Department we consider ourselves the Brahmins of uh, Harvard. You see, uh, the schools are all hoi polloi, uh, karmacharis. You see. So anyway, uh, so I went through and I found that uh, there was Chidambaram's name in one of my grade sheets. Uh, he would see. So I, I never made it public. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then many years passed, and then suddenly Rajiv Gandhi uh, became Prime Minister, he became Minister of State. And his whole object was to uh, flatter Rajiv Gandhi and so on. But Rajiv Gandhi became my friend. And I was in a almost like a brotherly relations and I used to tell him this is wrong you can't get away with this you know that sort of the relationship reasoning with yeah and he always referred my name to all his party we see how one man can stand and terrorize so many people mm -hmm. we have so many MPs and we are afraid of meeting a fellow I mean challenging a person like P. 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 Singh mm -hmm. so that's you know, so a lot of admiration so this man then become you know the jealousy factor so he started making nasty cracks about me whenever we ran into each other in the central law parliament. So I complained to uh, to Rajiv Gandhi saying that, you know, this man, I don't know what's the matter with him. I don't know him at all. He says he was my student and I'm not a very good student. But uh, uh, I, I, I think he, he's making it difficult for me to be with you. Because, you know, he's trying to make out that the Congress party is like this. And of course, there's Mani Shankar, this, that, you know, all these riffraffs, all psychophantic people, you know. So, Rajiv Gandhi one day called me up. He said, are you ready to have tea with me? I said, sure. So, I went and uh, this was uh, before I toppled the VPC government. Uh, so, it's about 19... Uh, uh, almost early 90. Okay. So uh, I went um, uh, to uh, uh, meet Rajiv and then Rajiv said, do you mind I have some small work left which I'd like to complete. I said, no problem, you just let the tea come, <laughs> drink it, you do your work. If you want I can wait outside. He said, no, no, you sit here. So then he presses the bell and tells his, uh, uh, his secretary, Vincent George, uh, Send Sindhagurumi, Chidamurumi. So I thought he's going to make, you know, mm -hmm. move that. 
you go, as soon as Chidambaram came, he came like a stenographer with a pad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So he said, Chidambaram, note down. I want a statement made on this, 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 this. I want a letter drafted from this, 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 so on. Uh, and he didn't let him sit down, standing. Then, uh, <laughs> so, and then he said, uh, all right, now you go. Now, I'm sitting there, Chidamam sees me, and this man treats him like a chaprasi. So after he goes, Rajiv Gandhi said, now you are, uh, you know, you are mollified or not? <laughs> <laughs> so that man has hurt him a lot. Now, earlier, <coughs> about two years uh, earlier or three years earlier, there was a um, uh, genocide of Muslim boys in Meerut. That would be Hashimpura. Hashimpura, yes. Yeah. And nobody wanted to take it up. And uh, Shabuddin was in Jatabati. He said, no, no, you must come and see it. I went and saw it. It was horrible. You know, there were 40, 42 boys were picked up by PAC, that is Provincial Armed no, Constability yeah. Trucks taken 20 kilometers on the edge of a canal, each one was made to get down and each one was shot and thrown. Now, who's the madman who gave this order? It was Chidambaram. He was Minister of State and he was there. So in Parliament I raised this issue and I said, you were there at that time, the night before, and there was nothing going on. Everything was peaceful. Why, why did the PSC do this? And then he lost his temper. And uh, naturally, I, I, I was vindicated, and you know, a big hero with the, with the... Then I asked Rajiv Gandhi to hold an inquiry, and he didn't agree. Then I sat and I fast him to death, the only time I ever did, and I never will do it again. It was horrible because I was genuinely fasting, mm. you know, not, not taking <laughs> <laughs> Ayurveda uh, mixed uh, drinks, you know, <laughs> which uh, uh, Kejriwal was doing. <laughs> and he could sit for 35 days. I couldn't. I was seventh day, I was totally groggy and then Rajiv Gandhi said, conceded, I wanted an inquiry, an inquiry was ordered. So that rankled them. Then Narasimha Rao came. Now Narasimha Rao came and then he made him Minister of State for Commerce. Why did he have to do that? Well, he, he, he was that time too junior. He, his... No, no, he, I mean, why did Narasimha Rao have to pick uh, him? Mm. Oh, yeah, from Tamil Nadu. Mm. So, uh, representation, Mupana was uh, promoting him. I don't know why Mopana never found uh, favor in the uh, cabinet in the center. Uh, no, I don't think he wanted yeah. it. Oh, I see. I see. He wanted to be party president. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this guy was a Chetiyar. Right. Uh, right. Could arrange for uh, all this Indian bank scandal, everything. Yes. There also, I right. played a role, uh, got him into a lot of trouble. So then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Narasimha Rao made him uh, Minister of State for Com Commerce with uh, independent charge. And then he made me Cabinet Minister for WTO. Yes. Uh, Cabinet Minister rank. Right. And put me in Commerce Ministry. So uh, his secretary came to me saying that, uh, you know, every new appointment has to make a call on the uh, minister. I said, but he is junior to me, so he can come to my office. I will not go to office. So he wrote a protest on, on mm -hmm. the file and wanted my, you know, my Nasimara to terminate my thing. By then he had become a money launderer for Sonia Gandhi, so he got a little uppity also. Mm -hmm. And Nasimara didn't pay attention. So like that, then uh, this man wanted to send me to jail. <laughs> so he cooked up some case that I'm a friend of Chandra Swami. How can that uh, be? I've, I'm friends of so many people. I'm a friend of. Uh, many of the crooks in Congress, yes, you know, it's a classical law of that time. Uh, so, uh, Kamal Nath. So, what happened is, uh, fortunately, Devagoda was Prime Minister by then. Right. And this fellow had become Cabinet Minister for Finance. And Devagoda just took the file and put it in his law, uh, law and locked it. So, and then I said, my turn will come. <laughs> but he didn't stop when in the, in the uh, in 2011, I had a book which became a classic on uh, deterrence. Right. How to deter Islamic terrorism. Now, Manmohan Singh, as Prime Minister, ordered 500 copies and sent it to all our embassies. So this is the way uh, we view the matter. So this fellow uh, decided that he will prosecute me for hate speech. 
<laughs> had nothing to do with hate speech. And uh, no police station wanted to register his case. So he got it registered in the terrorist wing of the Home Ministry. But fortunately, uh, um, one of the Congress lawyers who, uh, whom I had as uh, minister made, as law minister made him additional solicitor general, Tulsi, he came to my help and uh, it was quashed. So naturally, I said, now when my turn comes, I've done it. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it shows how much this guy had Moles and whatever in the different yeah, bureaucracies that he yeah, could, yeah, uh, yeah. and he was a terror for women. Mm. I know at least one lady lawyer who said my senior asked me to go and brief Chidamaram. I'm afraid what he'll do in the room. They are, uh, they are uh, lady journalists yeah. whom uh, he has uh, you know treated badly. So and he was uh, so bad that this Indrani, I can say it on tape for you, yeah. she has given a statement to the magistrate that she gave one million dollars to Karthi and then he said, for me, you, you sleep with me. Can you believe it? And sent two, two actresses after that mm. from the cinema world. This is the kind of man he is. <sighs> I tell people, if you go to Uzbekistan, you'll find half of them look like Chidamaram. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, uh, the so let's just fast forward this thing a little bit more. Now you have, I mean, you've unearthed in that March 20, 2017 press conference. I remember one statement very vividly, and I'm going to ask you if uh, yep. you know. You said that uh, Chidamara owns one in six of real estate in Bangalore. Yeah. So um, and in the coffee estate. In the coffee estate. So, the, the these are probably Benamis, not yeah, yeah, in Benami name, but it's yeah. easy to. Mm. As you now the Benami Act has made it very easy. So it's easy to. Uh, in fact, uh, many of his properties abroad also not only not in his name, but it's uh, he has uh, he has secretary some Reddy something, and Reddy has also signed a file that in case he ever dies, yeah, the property will go to uh, Chidamam's uh, granddaughter. So that that is plain, uh, but I'm talking about even more egregious forms where uh, it's somebody else owning the whole property. But yeah, but there will be this kind of. Uh, oh, so there's trail. always going to be some paper trail, trail, trail. that will lead it back to Chidambaram. I, I remember when I was doing. Because you go to uh, Kodaganad, hmm. is that Kurgi area? Yes, yes. They will tell you this is Chidambaram's property. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the we have like. So many other cases that are all like in the FIPB clearances alone. There are yeah, so many yeah, other. twenty-five. Yeah, and uh, the not clearance, FIPB approval. Approval. Oh, I see. The the clearance the, the, is that it, right, it qualifies right, to be considered. Right, right. You are right. I stand corrected. Approval. Now, um, the things that have actually sort of bubbled up to the top are uh, Airsel Maxis and uh, this, but there's also other things, isn't it? Oh yeah, Air India. Air India. Air India is an open shot because. Uh, the FIPB clearance has been given by the Cabinet Committee on uh, Economic Affairs, of which he was chairman. And uh, uh, Indigo and Go Airlines purchased the same aircraft from, a, for, from Airbus uh, for 25% more. I mean, the, the Airbus and uh, they produced for 25% less. Less. So they have been over invoicing the import. Uh, it is bright money, yeah, right, right. and uh, Air, Air, Airbus is ready to uh, say that we paid uh, to uh, to Chinampur. Also, is there isn't there a funny deal whereby India got some seven 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 and turned around and sold it to somebody else, some other airlines? That there's some. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that is the uh, Boeing, Boeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seven seven seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To Etihad, Etihad, Etihad. Etihad, right, right. Because Etihad was owned by the Amir of UAE and he also owned Eti Sadat mm. whose uh, uh, 2G spectrum got cancelled. Correct, correct. So see, he had to be compensated yeah, for the bribe given. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, we so have an episode on that now, US, yeah. so yeah, yeah, that's right. right, right. right. So, uh, I mean, this is like, you can have like a full department of just absolutely, and pulling yeah, all these absolutely, things together absolutely, absolutely. making this thing happen. Right. Um, well, so for the viewers, please, uh, you know, 
how do you foresee this thing? I mean, he's in jail now, so presumably he's going to be interrogated by CBI and, and ED. No, not, not, not in jail. The ED has to interrogate him, so they'll get him out of jail. Okay. And put them, put him in their own jail. Okay, okay. Which is actually worse than what he's living. I see. So, um, let's say ED finds him guilty on PMLA. I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can that order, say, so under PMLA, he can go up to seven years in jail. Is that something that can be challenged in a court of law or is that something? All, that all, 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 all decisions of any court okay. can yeah. be challenged by, challenged by a higher court okay. all the way to Supreme Court. Supreme court. So that is still the legal matter. That doesn't there. matter. Okay. Okay. You see, the issue is when politicians get convicted at one level, then for it to be uh, for acquitted in another level, that, that doesn't change the character. Supposing he's convicted for more than two years, then he can't contest elections. Correct. Correct. So that, that's the end of the matter. And uh, he's defamed politics, uh, reputations, everything. And if your reputation goes from one extreme to another, then people get even more agitated. That's true. That's true. And uh, today, if you take a poll, it will it will be clear that uh, people hate Chidamon so much that they all welcome this. So uh, I guess now we have to let ED do their job and then ah. find out what the, the things are. So the, it's at the point where you know T's are going to be crossed and I's are going to be dotted, and then the build, the case will be built and then. No, no. I see. At the moment, he has been charged, right. which means it's an advanced stage. Now the next stage. Uh, after the ED is, uh, does the dot, dotting of the I's and the crossing of the T's is what they call as uh, uh, charges being framed by the court. Right. The court is now satisfied. Earlier on, all this, thus far was based on um, uh, interrogating the uh, person and then the ED forming an opinion which is prima facie. Now, in a trial that will take place after the charges of when the charges are to be framed, then uh, they will get a chance to cross-examine the various witnesses, and thereafter uh, it will be um, uh, uh, a trial will start when, once the charges are framed, and then conviction. So my view is that uh, uh, if we don't have another Jetly in uh, finance ministry. Uh, or in the government, <coughs> the, by next uh, September, there's a year from today, he should be in jail convicted. Hmm. And there's not only one case, right, one right. case after another. The trains will be coming yeah, yeah, various yeah, yeah, yeah. platforms. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Dr. Swami. Right, right. We will be very keenly following the yeah. developments on yeah. this one. Well, so in India is one of the few countries where people politicians are getting convicted. Yes, that's few, and that's true. Uh, yeah. I mean, even in Israel, which is used to pride on its legal system, uh, you know, see Netanyahu, whether it's yeah. a genuine case or not is another matter. Right. The fact is they are not able to proceed. That's right, that's right. Right, same thing in even in the United States also. Somebody yeah. takes the fall for the president and yeah. then the president gives them a pardon yeah. and then basically that's it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 To um, Mark Rich. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> 350 <laughs> years conviction. <laughs> Clinton wrote it off. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Dr. Okay.